Welcome to the Crystal River National Wildlife Refuge and the Kings Bay Manatee Refuge. You are among the thousands of yearly visitors privileged to enter our natural springs, home of the Florida manatee. Your awareness of our rules and recommendations is essential to the protection of manatees and their ecosystem. It is your responsibility to learn and understand these rules prior to recreating in the refuge. Between November and April, Kings Bay is home to the largest aggregation of manatees in a natural environment in the world. To protect manatees from harm, harassment, and disturbance, the Crystal River National Wildlife Refuge and manatee sanctuaries were created in parts of Kings Bay. In addition, all of Kings Bay has been designated as a federal manatee protected area with special manatee protection regulations in place year-round. The Florida manatee is protected by the Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972, the Federal Endangered Species Act of 1973, and the Florida Manatee Sanctuary Act of 1978. Violations of these statutes may result in fines of up to $100,000 and or one year in jail. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service recommends that all visitors practice passive observation when viewing manatees. Passive observation means calmly observing manatees from a distance and from the surface of the water and not initiating any contact with the manatee. In addition to practicing passive observation, visitors should not approach manatees, particularly those found resting. During the winter months, manatees come to the springs to stay warm and spend the majority of their time resting around Kings Bay. Undisturbed access to the springs is critical to the manatee's survival. Resting manatees can be found near the water's surface, partially submerged in the water column or laying on the water bottom. They remain relatively still while resting, but may make some slight movements. For example, manatees may remain almost motionless before moving to the surface to breathe then returning to the original resting position. This means that resting manatees may be found moving while resting, and it is your responsibility not to disturb them. Recreating close to manatees is a privilege that comes with serious personal responsibility. In the next few minutes, the rules that prevent manatee harassment will be shown, followed by additional recommendations that will improve the quality of your experience. Manatee Sanctuaries Manatee sanctuaries provide a safe area for manatees to rest without disturbance from humans during the cold winter months. Manatee sanctuaries are designated by large orange and white buoys stating closed area. All activities are prohibited inside. Visitors must stay out of all posted manatee sanctuaries and all other posted closed areas. Manatees are commonly found roaming in trafficked boat waterways and are frequently struck, injured, or killed by boats. This video will teach you how to view manatees responsibly when operating a motorboat so that you, manatees, and other visitors can have a safe experience. The following measures will also help you prevent manatee disturbance, including potential boat strikes and manatee harassment. Become familiar where Kings Bay's regulated areas are, how they are marked, and what's required of you. Speed zones change seasonally within Kings Bay. It is your responsibility to be aware of what zones are in effect whenever you are operating a boat in Kings Bay. Speed zones include idle speed, slow speed, and a 25 mile per hour recreational summer zone. Idle speed is the minimum speed that will maintain the steerage of a motorboat. A vessel proceeding at idle speed produces no wake. Slow speed is the speed of a vessel at which it is completely off-plane, is settled into the water, and is producing minimum wake. A motorboat operated with an elevated bow is not proceeding at slow speed. No specific speed is assigned to slow speed. Additional speed and anchoring restrictions are in place in a marked area north of Buzzard Island, known as the 25-mile-per-hour summer zone. Between June 1st and August 15th, Boats can travel at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour during the day and are required to travel at slow speed at night. During this 25 mile per hour summer period, boats cannot anchor in this area. From August 16th to May 30th, boats must travel at slow speed at all times and anchoring is permitted. Become familiar with the following guidance and use this information when boating in Kings Bay. 
Keep an active watch. Boat operators and passengers should be on the lookout for manatees, swimmers, and other vessels. Polarized sunglasses should be worn at all times. They improve the ability to see manatees diving from the water surface, traveling below the water surface, and surfacing to breathe. When manatees breathe, their noses and sometimes their backs break the water surface, and the sound of them breathing can occasionally be heard. Diving manatees occasionally expose their backs and tails as they dive down. Traveling manatees can leave trails of footprints on calm days. Manatee footprints are trails of circles on the water's surface, created by the upward motion of the manatee's tail as it travels. Be alert of manatee activity near sanctuaries. Sometimes manatees can be found resting outside of sanctuary areas. Take extra care to not operate vessels over resting manatees. When you see a manatee ahead, slow down to avoid hitting the manatee. Do not pursue or chase manatees with a boat or separate manatees from a group with a boat. Manatees should never be encouraged to approach boats, including anchored boats. It could put them in harm's way in trafficked waterways. Do not give manatees anything to eat or drink. When preparing to anchor, find a safe area to anchor in and always be considerate of manatees, other boats, and people in the water. Anchor far enough away from no entry area boundaries to prevent your boat from drifting or being blown into these areas by the wind. Select an area away from manatee activity. Manatees frequently rest on the water bottom, so please anchor away from such areas by paying close attention where manatees are before choosing a location where to anchor. Never tie up to signs, buoys, and other navigational structures or to trees or vegetation in Kings Bay. When anchoring, slowly lower your anchor. Never throw it into the water for the safety of manatees and people that might be around your vessel. Dropping an anchor into the water can also scare manatees away. Boats should use both a bow and stern anchor to prevent drift, especially in windy conditions. Do not let your pets in the water when manatees are present. When fishing, find a safe place to cast your line, away from manatees and manatee resting areas. And don't discard any fishing gear, including fishing line and hooks, in the water. Most local boat ramps have monofilament recycling bins. Manatees can easily ingest or become entangled in fishing line and other fishing gear, which often results in fatality. All swimmers, snorkelers, and divers must stay within 100 feet of a dive flag. Please remember, if you are getting into the water to view manatees or to photograph or video manatees, you must watch the Manatee Manners video for swimmers, snorkelers, and divers, or the video for photography and filming. If you see an injured manatee or need to report a violation of the Kings Bay Manatee Regulations, please call the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's Wildlife Alert Hotline at 1-888-404-3922. Thank you for taking the time to review these regulations and guidelines. Please remember that Kings Bay is a community shared by manatees and people, so be respectful of homeowners, businesses, and manatees during your visit. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service wants both you and the manatees to have a safe experience. With your help, we can protect this critical manatee area so it can be shared with future generations. For more information about manatee protection within Kings Bay, Visit us online at www.fws.gov slash crystal river.